allow me to introduce myself. I am Chaplain Bishop Archduke Dr. Robert L. Maxwell of the Prophetic Pro Code of Arms Ministry, Duke of Pomerania and Livonia. Colonel of the Royal Guard of Pomerania and Livonia, Field Marshal of the Prophetic Royal Coat of Arms Ministry, and Knight of the Sacred and Military Order of Merits of the Prophetic Royal Coat of Arms Ministry of the House of Hamzilla Scott. And today we're going to do, I'm going to do a message on Holy Communion. This is the time and season when I do Holy Communion. Christmas time, the conception of Jesus Christ our Lord who redeemed us and saved us from our own self-destruction. So without further ado, let's open up with a word of prayer and invite God into our service today. Dear Yahweh Adonai Elohim, we come before you and ask you to bless us, to anoint us, to fill us up with the Holy Ghost, move us into the Apostolic and the prophetic anoint us, fill us up with the Holy Ghost and empower us to do your will. And let this message minister to the hearts and minds of those who need to be ministered by this message. We ask in the name of Yeshua Christos, Yeshua Messiah, through the power of the Holy Ghost. And let healing take place, restoration, and renewal in the name. We ask in the name of E.A. Seuss, Christos, name through the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of God the Father, God the Son. God the Holy Spirit, and let my preaching and teaching be accepted to you. In Christ Jesus' name we pray to the power of the Holy Ghost. And we pray in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, that you would cast all negative and evil spirits from our lives. Amen. And all the church said, Amen. Lord's Supper, or Holy Communion, Communion, the Eucharist. Around Christmas time, here at the Prophetic Royal Coat of Arms Ministry, we always celebrate and have communion around Christmas time and Easter. Jesus, the conception of Jesus Christ took place December 25th, but he wasn't born until. However, Jesus Christ was born on September 29th. <laughs> Lord's Supper, 1 Corinthians 11.20, this is out of the International Standard. When you gather in the same place, it is not to eat the Lord's Supper.
This is usually a metaphor by which the apostle flatly denies that which many did not do well. Lord's Supper called also the Lord's table. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 21. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot dine with the Lord and deny with, uh, dine with demons. The heathens and the profane people were accustomed to finish up and make an end of their fast, fest which they kept to the honor of their gods in offering meat offering, drink offering to them with a banquet and feasting. Lord's Supper, called also the Lord's Table, Communion, Cup of Blessings, 1 Corinthians 10.16. The cup of blessings that we bless is a sign of our sharing in the blood of the Messiah. Isn't it? The bread that we Break is a sign of our sharing in the body of the Messiah, isn't it? Our of thanksgiving, whereunto, un, upon, whereupon that holy banquet was called the Eucharist, which is the Greek for thanksgiving most effectual pledge note of of your joining together with Christ and in grafting to him and breaking of bread Acts 2.42 and this is out of the Geneva or no the 1611 King James. Act 2, 42, and they continued steadfastly in the Apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking of bread, and in prayers. The marks of a true church are the doctrine of the Apostles, the duties of charity, the pure and simple administration of the ordinances, and the true invocation used by all the faithful sharing of goods and all other duties of charity as it's shown afterwards that those of the house of Judah used thin loaves and therefore they broke them rather than cut them so by breaking of bread they meet living together and the banquets with banquets banquets which they used to keep and when they kept their love feast they used to celebrate the Lord's Supper which even in those days began to be corrupted and Paul corrected this in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 17 through 34. In the early church it was called also the Eucharist or giving thanks. Compare Matthew 26, 27. This is out of the English majority text and it reads, Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, Drink of it all of you and generally by the Latin church mass a name derived from the formula of dismission 
das mit. Mrs. Matthews. Go, it is discharged. The account of the institution of this ordinance is given in Matthew 26 through 29. Therefore, they who took away the cup from the people disobeyed the instructions of Christ. At 26 hours, 26 minutes, and as they were eating, Jesus took the bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. At 26 hours, 27 minutes, then he took the cup, and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. At 26 hours, 28 minutes, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many, for the forgiveness of sins. At 26 hours, 29 minutes, but I say to you, that I will by no means drink of this fruit of the vine from now on, until... That day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom, All right, Mark 14, 22 through 25, this is out of the Bishop's Bible. Mark 14, 22, and as they did eat, Jesus took bread, and he had blessed, he broke it, and gave to them, and said, take Yet, this is my body. Mar 14, 23, and he took the cup, and when he had you thanks, he took it to them, and they all drank of it. Mar 14, 24, and he said unto them, This is my blood, of the New Testament, which is shed for many. Mar 14, 25, you verily I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine, until the day, that I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Luke 22.19, this is out of the Brethren by uh, This is out of the Contemporary English. And it says, Jesus took some bread in his hand and gave thanks for it. He broke the bread and handed it to his apostles, then he said, This is my body, which is given for you. Eat this as a way of remembering me. And Luke 22.20. And we're going to read this out of the... Lexaham English Bible. Oh, I'm sorry, Luke twenty two twenty. <coughs> Twenty two twenty, and in the same way the cup after they had eaten, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood which is poured out for you. And first Corinthians 11.